speaking of parents, Carla Red plops in, stretching her feathers. She ready for the damn mess. When I tell you, Love and Hip Hop got straight to the mess this episode. Girl, y'all must have been listening to me. You know what, I wanna just put out a PSA to Mona Scott and y'all tweet her. Now Mona Scott, girl, I ain't gonna beg you on Twitter, hon. I'ma ask my supporters too. Y'all need to tweet Mona Scott and tell her ass to be checking for Justin J this season. Honey, invite me to something, send me, put me on the email list. Cause girl, I'm at 75,000 subscribers, girl. You can hook a sister up, a girl getting some views or something. So Mona, we can work out something, girl. I ain't gonna sit up here and tell nobody we got connections and shit because I don't want shit to be fucked up with my stuff I'm still gonna talk shit but I'm gonna talk in a good way Mona we can work out something now girl come on now it's something we can off each other I fucks with you I fucks with VH1 y'all know I've been supporting y'all shows so you can email me Miss Mona Scott and Justin at kingarees.com matter of fact email me one time and I give you my private phone number Mona Scott we need to work on something we can work together and get this bread like I said they got straight to the mess they did not give us a boring intro or how the stuff goes in, oh, everybody coming back and being on the show. No, they got right to the drama. It was all over the place and exactly what I needed because we already know Loving Hip Hop Atlanta is the top one in the Loving Hip Hop franchise, period. So Carla Red comes in, she's speaking to John. She asking John, who is this young tenderoni you talking to? She said, This is Jasmine. And Jasmine is beautiful. Baby Jasmine was sick. I said, Okay, Jasmine got an installment loan or two. Her makeup is beat to capacity. She is a beautiful. Once she got a strong neck. I just love her, girl. But I looked over to my left, girl, and girl, I saw her cup tugging on that damn spaghetti strap ass on um, dress, girl. Girl, she was right here looking like Angelica's dog. She kept tugging on that heavy rope ass damn dress. Girl, I felt so bad for Jasmine. I know that dress was too damn big, girl. They gave her the wrong damn size or some shit, girl. She ain't got no damn help, girl. Oh, girl, she just kept tugging on that shit and it kept making me mad. She kept pulling on that shit. <laughs> Just like, girl, y'all, somebody get her a safety pin. Somebody pull a safety pin in their mouth and hip hop. Hook a sister up real quick. But Jasmine, beautiful. She gets straight to the T. John Jock just like, okay, Mona Scott told us to say this. Let's go get into it. John Jock said, you know, she, you know, this is Rodney's um, girl or whatever, you know. Call her red like, but Rodney just got out of jail because that's Mimi's ex. So, what's the tea? So, she must have been hopping on penis. Because now, Call her red. As many penises and gigs as you were popping on and hopping on and flying on and laying eggs with, you can't be talking about the next girl, okay? So sit your ass down, Carla Red. So, you know, she tried to do the math on her head and she said, you know, that's not, uh, that's not Rodney's baby. This, this is Kirk's baby. Bitch, don't hold it. Don't, 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 don't. Girl, not nah, Kirk. Jock said, mm, girl, the music they play had me screaming. Carla Red said, ah, ah. Carla Red ready to go fly the coop and tell. Somebody else, what the fuck happened? Carla Red can't hold no damn water. She can't hold her feathers. She can't hold shit. She ready to spill the damn tea. She so ready. She said, uh-uh, I got emergency, honey, 911. I gotta get Mimi on the line and find out what the tea is. Young Jock like, girl, let me text on um, Kirk because he supposed to be on his way. I got to let him know. Kirk pops up. Carla Red so girl, let's go and get to the topic at hand. Fuck all that other dumb shit. Do you know this girl? She stood up here saying she got a baby by you. Kirk was like, I don't know her. I ain't never heard of Jab, but who is she? Who is she to you? Don't lie to me. I think I better let her know. Come on, Brandy. Okay, that was my album. Aphrodisiac. Give my Afro. Too much. Too much. Kirk said he don't know that shit. He ain't got nothing to do with that. Rashida is not gonna whoop his ass, girl. Rashida is not gonna stomp a mud hole in my ass. Bitch, I just got my third earring pulled out. I don't have time to be playing with this. Girl, I never will forget what Kate Michelle said. Yeah, Kirk, I said hello with his three earrings. <laughs> Girl, what you say? What you say about my man, bitch? What you say? You gonna throw a candle at me, bitch? <laughs> that shit was so damn. Oh, girl, K. Michelle had me screaming. I love K. Michelle. She's so damn stupid. Kirk denies all the stuff. He's like, okay, um, that shit is a wrap. Let me go talk to Rashida. Tell her what the shit is. Cause I know Carla Red ready to put this shit up on the gram, Twitter, Snapchat, every damn where. Kirk flew out of there so damn quick. Carla Red said, girl, let me get uh Mimi online. Mimi shows up. They have a conversation. Mimi said, you know, Rodney full of shit. He fucked up my credit. I said, damn, he must be some kid of Peter ass. Sit there, ex husband, girl, because everybody credit getting fucked up. Now, this is messed up. Now, women's, y'all out here getting y'all credit messed up by these men's. Y'all can't let these men out here <laughs> fucking y'all credit up like that. Credit is important. Listen to me, girl. My shit went up 20 points. Y'all can't tell me shit, okay? 
I've been around here, girl. Y'all talking about some income tax checks, girl. Y'all better take that shit, pay off them old ass bills and negotiate, girl. Matter of fact, get your ass on Credit Karma and dispute that shit. Dispute some of them old ass bills. That shit older than seven years. Dispute, bitch. I owe somebody about ten thousand dollars. I said, girl, that's been ten years. You knock that shit off. It had already been on. But it was an old AT and T home phone bill, bitch. You don't knock that shit off. That's my first apartment. Knock that shit off. My points been going up, bitch. I'm finna pull up on the least ass Mercedes Benz and fit in and miss um Atlanta on y'all motherfucking ass, bitch. I'ma give me a lease car and be stunned, bitch. I'ma do one. I'ma do one of them things. Got my nails. So I'ma take a picture of the steering wheel like the rest of these tired ass hoes be doing. That'll never be me. I'm telling y'all now. If y'all see my ass on any type of reality show or something, I'ma keep it real, real with them, honey. I'ma pull up in the damn Malibu, honey. She gonna be paid, and she uh, the bumper gonna be scratched up on the side. But bitch, I'm keeping it real, honey. I ain't gonna be out here struggling, looking at my account when we going out for drinks. I ain't finna be that girl. I wanna be coin 365 seven days a week. I cannot be like these other girls that be coin only once or twice a, a, in, in a day a month. Not me, girl. But Mimi talking about her credit being fucked up. It was a sad situation. Uh, Melissa like, girl, I ain't gonna fuck your credit up. I'm a lesbian, lesbians. We don't. Let me tell you something. I might go get me one of them because them black lesbians, let me tell you something. They gonna make sure you good and coin. They gonna take care of you, so. I'm gonna have to go find me one of them and tell them to put on the strap. I can't take no dick no way. But I'm gonna see what I can do because, girl, they be making sure a bitch eating good, bitch. I ain't gonna lie. So, because I know some of them, I know some of them be taking care of the household, girl. But when we fight, we fight, that bitch be throwing bases and shit. That ain't the shit I'm interested in. Kirk gets to Rashida. Rashida up there chopping cucumbers and shit. Kirk walking up. He's like, you know, Rashida, um. Rashida like, huh, what's going on? Bring your ass in here before I start rapping like shot and love. Kurt come up there, he said, I just, I just went out, to, you know, I went out to the masquerade party. And, you know, my girl walked up to me and she said that, um, you know, she said that she had a baby by me. And I am like, I don't know who she was stumbling. And, you know, that I, but she said, huh, what you talking about? Because you know me and you got issues. We even had issues. So you don't want your, you don't want my mama run over your bike again. So you need to figure out what it is. Kirk like, you know, no, nah, I don't want that. Well, she be like, hold up, Kirk. You said you kind of mumbling and ain't talking or something. She, what's going on? Well, she to get straight to the point. She did what she was supposed to. Have you ever fucked her? But the whole time I'm watching, I'm just intrigued. I'm just like, honestly. Kirk and Rashida, I don't believe y'all storyline at all. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, the shit was in the blogs not too long ago. I just don't believe it. I don't believe anything. Like, y'all storyline is the most unrelatable, unrealistic storyline I have seen in Love Hip Hop franchise. And I fuck with y'all. I love you, Rashida. I think you're beautiful. I drag you every chance I get. Because it's funny. But, girl, this this storyline is not real at all. It just don't seem... It don't, it's nothing real about it. But I play the game. I play the game. I just don't honestly believe that Kurt got that girl pregnant. I don't. I think they're gonna use the scheme that Todd came up to come to you with the bullshit. It's got to be something because I'm just not believing. It's got to be starting something. It's got to be starting something. That's not believing. But you know, nonetheless, but she needs to get down to the business and find out what it is. Uh, she about to go crazy. But Kirk said he ain't got nothing to do with her. He does never seen this woman before, and he ain't had sex with her. Rashida, believe it. Do what you got to do with it. Find out. Get down to it. Call your girl, investigate, find out what's going on. Tommy goes to jail. Girl, I told you, Steve, we couldn't save your ass, girl. He was trying to go in there. Tommy ass is locked up. They keeping her ass in. Girl, they threw her ass. Let me tell you, Atlanta Police Department, don't play. They locking y'all ass up, girl. Y'all can fly through Atlanta streets y'all want to, bitch. I'm on cruise. I'll be driving like Miss Daisy. That's right, with my both my hands. She ain't driving, but I bet it's her old ass did. She have both her hands on the steering wheel. I ain't got time to play. My insurance is high as hell. I ain't getting hit no more. I'm not gonna let nobody hit me. I ain't hit nobody. I ain't really never hit nobody, honestly, but I've always been hit. But I ain't trying to go through none of that because Atlanta do not play with that shit. Jocelyn and Stevie J end up meeting up. And y'all know they saved it for the 57 minute part, okay? Stevie walking through this one. Dun, 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 walking, this, looking at the camera and shit. It's million, million, a hallway. Dun, 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 dun. I think I got away. Girl, Jocelyn said she already ready to cry, girl. She right here looking like a feather dusted bird. I'm like, Jocelyn, get it together. You right here look like the pair of keys that you don't fuck with. So she's sitting down, her and Stevie J about to talk and cut. On this season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, girl, y'all did that, mom. Y'all did that. So on this season, Rashida and Kirk might be going through a divorce. Probably not, but we'll follow along with it if we don't fall asleep first. Girl, and Ernest getting handed pacifiers and getting roasted and shit. Meanwhile, his mama sitting next to him look like she about to hand him a pack of damn depends, girl. I'm just not. His mama looking like, bitch, you better get together because you're like you're about to shit on yourself because this woman around here with this 
how to do the ass wig like she better drag your ass. Mama D ready to go in. I saw her ass at the club, uh, what was that, about a month or so ago. Girl, she was here singing the shit out that damn song. It was funny as hell. But this season of Love and Hip Hop, this first episode was everything we needed to start off the season. I really do love it. We get introduced into a girl called Lovely Mimi. Um, I don't know how I feel about her. Something in my spirit is telling me she's gonna be very problematic. I, I just, I'm not sure how I feel about her. She's like, I got a million followers, oh my God. She just, she just too much for me. Um, It's just too much. Tell me talking about her situation with Waka Flocka and Undead telling Waka Flocka, you need to get your shit together because she ain't checking for your ass. You can't be around here dragging your damn luggage in and out this woman's house. She ain't checking for that shit no more. Rashida Mama telling Kirk, you need to file for divorce. Girl, she got her purple hair Don't care. This season of Love and Hip Hop, I'm not sure about it. Y'all always tease us with the trailers, and then when we actually get to the show, y'all be half delivering. But I'm gonna pray for y'all. We gonna pray, and I hope it goes somewhere. But this episode, as far as the episode one for this season, really good, y'all cut up. Visuals on point, loved it. Uh, Mona Scott, make sure you reach out to me, honey. Justin at kingreads.com, okay? No Gmails, I don't get down like that. But James, tell me what y'all thought about Rashida and Kirk and their situation, and tell me what y'all think about Tommy Crazy Ass being back for this season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.